Today I want to share with you my chicken spaghetti. Um, in my bread video, I told you that the second, that the two most asked for things were my bread and my chicken spaghetti. Tomorrow we're having a luncheon at church, so I'm fixing chicken, the chicken spaghetti for that. And it's in our cookbook, HodgesFarmTexas.com. And it's not hard, but it's a little bit different than anybody else's. In here I have a stick of butter and about four stalks of celery and an onion. Um, it also calls for bell peppers, which I'm not using because uh, Caden's mom can't eat bell peppers. And in here I have a pound of spaghetti cooking. I cooked in broth four big chicken breasts, not the frozen ones, the ones in the package in the, in the meat section, which has probably been frozen before. But I cooked four of them and I've shredded them up and I saved the broth. I took about a cup of it out to go into the spaghetti, but I saved the broth and I'm cooking the spaghetti in the broth. So I'm gonna um, stir this up a little bit more and then we're gonna put a few more ingredients in. Okay, now I'm gonna add a can of cream of mushroom soup. You could use uh, celery soup, cream of celery or cream of chicken. And this is a um, diced tomatoes with green chilies. I'm using the mild because uh, we don't like hot, right, Caden? Yes, we don't like it too hot. If you like it hot, go ahead and use the hot. We'll stir this around. Now, look away. It's Velveeta. I know everybody's going to throw a fit because I'm using Velveeta. But I'm going to put about, about three-fourths of a pound of Velveeta in here. And it's going to start melting. Stir that up pretty good. Then I'm going to add a little bit of... This is mild cheddar. You could use American if you wanted to. Put some of that in. We're gonna put that on the top. Now I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. And I'll taste this before we put it all together. I'm gonna to get this to melting in here. So we're gonna let this melt a little bit and then we'll see if our spaghetti's done. Okay, I've got this. I put the spaghetti in here. I cooked it. I didn't overcook it. Be sure and don't make it too mushy. Maybe leave it just a little bit al dente. And I'm stirring it in with the uh, other ingredients. Now I'm going to add, this is just something I do. I'm going to add some black olives. Oh, probably 10 or 15. And I did them in my uh, uh, little food processors, how I chopped them up. Okay, now I'm going to pour about half of this broth. Since I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and bake it in the morning, I'm saving this broth and I'm going to put it on it first thing in the morning before I uh, bake it. Here comes the chicken. I'm using a lot of chicken because I'm feeding a lot of people. the hardest part of stirring this. I'm going to get this all stirred up and then I'm going to put it in a casserole and put some cheese on top. Look how much we made. We have a huge pan. One thing I do a lot of the time is I split this in two and um, well actually you can make three or four casseroles out of this. Not enough, not enough for a lot of people but you could certainly make at least two with the if you cut that in two, you could feed six to eight people because this is huge. This is really heavy. This is a 15 by 13 pan, not a 9 by 13. I'm, I'm, um, when you go buy cheese at the store, don't buy it already shredded. Buy the block and shred it yourself. If you read on the, the label, you'll see that the shredded cheese has sawdust or something, a stabilizer in it. Has a lot of things in it that just the block doesn't. And just when you uh, when you get your food processor out and do a little shredding of cheese, do enough to last you for a couple weeks. It, it's gonna keep in the refrigerator. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. I know I'm not, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight. And then in the morning, I'll put some more liquid on it because I like it gooey. Um, and I'll get it out and bake it at 350. It'll probably take a good hour to bake. You just want it nice and bubbly. And uh, make this and you will be everybody's friend. 